Hello guys and gals of the internet, and this is the chaos of YouTube, Mixer.com and Twitch TV, so welcome to Project PC I guess, or at least the kind of real uh, purpose of it, where we're going to be starting to bring back a lot of games that were deleted uh, from the channel in, oh, well last year actually, as it is now, as uh, we are now in 2019, and uh, I will put a card in the top right I think it is um, which will basically just take you to the video for the explanation of this project I don't really have to explain it here otherwise that would just take too long uh, so I'll leave a card there and uh, you guys can check out the introductory video to Project PC to find out the status of everything yourself uh, rather than explain it here because we're here to play the video game and we're gonna start Project PC off with one of the more underrated uh, Telltale games, really, um, in Tales from the Borderlands. Now, this game came out of nowhere, and I remember uh, myself and Tom Lady watched the trailer, and I was—I turned to her and I was like, "Wow, that's uh, that's unexpected," um, because tell, I, I've never played the Borderlands series before my first experience in this game. I'd never played. Um, I think that's okay. I, th I never played um, any of the Borderlands games. I have no experience with them at all. Um, so, whereas this wasn't one of the games I was really interested in, the draw to me for this game, and this is with a lot of uh, games, uh, say Tales from the Borderlands or Game of Thrones, for example, it was one of those games that the words Telltale Games interested me more than the series itself. And boy, um, did it surprise me. <laughs> this game came out of left field and surprised me to the extreme degree of how good it was. Um, and we'll leave it at that without spoiling it too much. I hope I put subtitles on. <laughs> Back again. Yeah, I did. Another okay. story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well... I have some time. I believe this is between Borderlands 2 and pre-sequel. We're told to believe. mysterious alien treasure. I could I could be wrong. That's where I believe it is. In the time in the Borderlands timeline, but like I said, I've played no Borderlands games before first jumping into this. Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. No shit. <laughs> he ran the corporation Hyperia and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. His well, attention yeah. is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less. Uh, Obvious rewards. Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. I hope this isn't too loud. Uh, Tales from the Borderlands was one of those really loud games. So, um, <laughs> hopefully we're good. That's what it looks like on my couch anyway, which is good news. So one thing I really should mention is that all my kind of social medias and other uh, platform links will now be in the description of every video. I spent maybe the last two days kind of putting it in all the other videos so everyone will know where to find me because people have been asking where I am on other stuff and I was like, you know what, maybe I should put them in the description of every video so people know where to find me if they want to like follow me on Twitter and stuff. So. Check down the description for other social media links. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out. I'm in the middle of the desert. I don't know what this tracker thing's doing. It's beeping at me. Shit. Fiona. What is there some sort of radiation leak? I don't See know. <laughs> Lay down, bitch. <laughs> so you guys know how Telltale Games works. Um story based five episodes the works you're coming with me <laughs> what is happening 
What is happening right now? I ask the questions. Okay, <laughs> then do you mind asking yourself what you're doing? <laughs> I didn't really recognize him at first, but Reese's Reese here is voiced by Troy Baker, who I had no idea of until the end of the episode when the credits roll. Is that what this is about? Look, Gordis is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on. Just answer my questions. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smart ass. <laughs> I love it. So just start talking. As you may realize, just I'm not really a person start. at all, but I'm, I'm just going to skip over that fact because you already know that. Desert and, uh... <laughs> From the beginning. Yeah, talk, right. bitch. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully the stuff isn't too loud. I hope not. I think there's only one really loud part when uh, some dude turns up. <laughs> So that could be fun. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack? Only by default. Baddest guy of them all. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. Because I'm involved with the Serial right? Pool Corporation, I'm automatically a bad guy, even though I'm Everyone really not. Did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. Uh, and these crazy guys. <laughs> when Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. Oh, my face. <laughs> it took some time to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> but a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends... I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change Suit up. my life. <laughs> Scratch that. Our lives for the better. I was a little disappointed. But really, just me. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're going to buy? I know what Henderson's is making. I do his payroll. <laughs> if you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Being an exec in Hyperion comes with expectations. It's not about money, Vaughn. It's about the respect it gets you. <laughs> he talks like that. Poor people that no one likes. <laughs> He's not wrong. Nice. <laughs> no, it's not nicer than a summer home on Eden 7. Get your priorities straight. <laughs> We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep, sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because <laughs> you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. <laughs> Blonde. Those people have to work somewhere, right? Hey, hey, we made it. Okay, we're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, Blonde won't forget this moment. <laughs> when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, I'm not sure are. if we should uh, turn those off because I know Telltale Games have this uh, All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face screen on. style oh, of standard right. or minimal, and the minimal doesn't um, the minimal doesn't actually show you when uh, a choice will affect something. Maybe we should turn that off. Mm. No, I don't think it's really getting in the way. It's a little too friendly right now. Okay, tell you what, tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? I'm doing the post there of the rock, go. damn it. You don't, you don't question that. <laughs> we just had to change the slogan, do you smell what Reese is cooking? That's, <laughs> that's the only thing we'd have to change. <laughs> Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want it in red. I want it in black. Of because course. black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why. Okay, Jerry. Concern yourself with how. Do you damn Just job. send the car over when it's ready. Company car. Didn't even have to ask. Fair enough. Your Hyperion nemesis. You look surprised. To even see though it's never explained that. how these two if became I'm to be the like situation that. Situation right, and I usually am. You're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So you might not have been in the loop, but. It's for the better, at least for me. Huh. So where's Henderson? He uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. 
And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Cause I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. <laughs> why the handsome guy always gets the girl, and why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. <laughs> okay. It's destiny, right? And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you that's can a weird, uh, grudge, if you like. Euphemism, if that's no the right word. No foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing. Oh, he, in the way. yeah, Henderson stepped out, all right. You don't want to be that man. <laughs> he stepped out, all right. <laughs> help me! Wow. I stepped I out. <laughs> not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically. Make yeah, you had that planned. Which is Dude, this? You're not following me. <laughs> this promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny and put you on your own path. And that, my friend. Is why I am promoting you to Jerry. Why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? <laughs> it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool. Listen, uh, I actually have somebody here with me. So uh... are you buying this vault key or what? Because I. How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course, I'm still interested. I. Yes, <laughs> you're a computer. <laughs> Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. This is Hyperion, dude. You can get ten million just like that. It, it actually happens later. That's why I say it. Three years sucking up to the guy. Out the window. Literally. <laughs> Figuratively and literally. No, but. Why do the biggest scumbags always have the best view? Do you <laughs> want the money or not? Cause I... oh, that should be me. Only less. It's not. No, it was a big deal for me to get. Thank you, Racing Poet. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. I tried to do a yes. thing out of Life is Strange, but it didn't work. <laughs> the redneck poet thing that Max mentions. Yeah, that's what we had before. Q to use Echo Eye. Oh, good, yes, because, yeah, I'm assuming with Telltale Games, it's gonna be like switching between either keyboard or mouse, so I'm gonna have to, like, use speed to do that stuff. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> Sol Henderson, Equator Pisces 47, Senior VP of Securities Propaganda? <laughs> Former. <laughs> that kind with the sprinkles. Not well. <laughs> no shit. This into a whole thing right now. Waste. Such a nice suit. Not yet. Pandora's potential for profit is revealed, revived by only by its potential to kill you oh, within minutes of setting foot on the surface. <laughs> I love it. Rock and roll, lock and load, ain't no thing. Ironically. <laughs> Doing. Cost expensive, no shit. <laughs> Do you want the money or not? Let's I... steal your shit. <laughs> Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be ten million dollars, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay, yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Huh. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, say hi to your mom. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, right. Uh, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. You were lecturing me. It was taking a while. <laughs> All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson, 
was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect Because I have a lot of that myself. That's why I'm going to make you <laughs> assistant vice janitor. <laughs> yes. No. No, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. Huh. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. Huh. You're dismissed, Reese. You step out. <laughs> You know when I need my trash can emptied. Hmm. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Bob. I'm finished. You know who this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. <laughs> no, 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 they can't. Not yet. Unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta keep it on the down low until we figure something out. It's not that bad yet. <laughs> okay. That's a Metal Gear Solid 4 reference with the glasses, by the way. Oh, well, actually, it's an Otacon reference, I should say. For trash cleanup, because that is your job now. To clean up trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese? Why are you cleaning up trash? <laughs> I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Henderson's dead. What? <laughs> are you sure? Yeah. I mean, you can ask him yourself. He's floating outside in space. <laughs> that prick Vasquez. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. How do you know that? <laughs> so does that mean you're not buying? Because I don't really remember Reese mentioning it, and you couldn't see it. So how do you know that? Well, just try and like. Unless, unless he saw it before the door closed and when he walked out. I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me, I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to. Can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for him. <laughs> we'll what? throw him no out of an airlock. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is, is vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Asquez, uh -huh. we have a freaking vault key. Quips. What are they Jokes. Like a billion dollars? <laughs> more. Yeah, but we need $10 million right now to make the deal. Hold, Hold please. please. Done. Done. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Told you. That was impressive. I Hold mean, my beer. What I do? <laughs> they say. Million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. No, well, he he'll notice like sooner than that. Since Vasquez is the boss, he'll notice that a lot quicker than that. Call me if you don't get killed. Whoa, 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 right. He's probably looking at it right now, like, oh, ten million's missing. What the fuck? You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. Things get dicey. Loader bot. Look, hmm. it's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. Yeah. But we're friends. Friends it's help true. each other steal stuff. It's Maybe a high security us. facility, right? Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Richter was an asshole and his family are assholes. <laughs> uh, okay, then. the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're buying me lunch now, and when you get back. <laughs> Done. We we'll can't do it right now. We've got to go. <laughs> go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? what? Standard? standard? Really? <laughs> spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure. Yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight... You, you want, want me to, to get you a car and the door will be less less protected. protected? Right? I, yeah, there is a great floor in that plan. <laughs> no. 
No, don't worry. I know the make it worth it thing, Not but mind. you do know Pandora, right? You you do know what that is. It even said it in like the description. It's gonna kill you as soon as you land on foot <laughs> on the planet surface. Uh, why am I digging up shit? <laughs> All for this measly box. <laughs> Money! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I need to ask for a raise for my sharpshooting skills, dude. <laughs> See you, nerd. <laughs> yes. Damn, that is brutal. Of course you have a Star Wars car, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, we're literally Grand Theft Auto Challenge racing up in this bitch. <laughs> I mean, that car is quite shielded, actually. Okay. Oh, spit. Person. Would you cross right there? <laughs> oh, crap. I think we. I think we killed it. <laughs> Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Great, great. We murder. You know, <laughs> I, I thought it would take longer than 20 seconds before that happened. Vaughn, I'm more worried about the dent in the car, okay? Yeah, this First isn't of exactly all, ours. It's Vasquez's company lease. And second, I'm sorry that I. Break for birds yeah, or whatever, yeah, but, but you wouldn't break for monster birds. That thing was a, a nightmare creature. Ugh, just drive. <laughs> now it's fine. <laughs> it's not. It's not that's a reference to short of the dead. Oh, thank God for that. And they drive off. <laughs> so, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. I just think we need a plan of some sort. Let's just say Vasquez gave it to us to make the deal. It's easier that way. Yeah. I guess I wanted a cooler plan, but <laughs> I suppose that'll work. Sometimes the simple so is always better. This looks not good. Oh, that made no sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Are simple is better. That? That's what it's I meant. Pandora. To say. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, true. I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me, is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. I'm just getting a vibe, you know. Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen, <laughs> one tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, <laughs> stick. Neato. So let me get this straight. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. Yvette gave you him a Hyperion Yvette. stun baton I mean, that he doesn't know how it works. Keyback. And they're going to make us the okay. ones and future kings of that place for sure. I have no idea how that even to use the key. Like, makes any and sense. That's it. Then it's kick back on the moon beach time. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop I mean, he's not part of the weaponry department, but you would at least know, like, he would get ah, basic on. in information bag. on how stun baton works in case he had to, uh, like, for some reason equip one. You'd think he'd know. <laughs> the tracker's beep, beep, beeping, but I don't see the place. Look, look at the car. It's, like, it's weird glitching out there. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, do you see it? Sometimes the... No. The computer does that. It does some like weird 
They seem flashing light shit. Normal-ish. Normal-ish enough. Anyway, or you could ask one of them. You're the closer, right? So close. Get us some direction. Fair enough. So yeah, as I was saying earlier, that was just some actual gameplay for a bit. Um, the whole draw of this game to me was just the fact that Telltale did it because I was I really loved The Walking Dead when I first played it, and I also played The Wolf Among Us as well. So it was like Telltale was the biggest draw for games like this and Game of Thrones, you know, series I didn't really know much about. Now I'm now I heavily want to see Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead. Oof. Not a very handsome fellow, is uh, I don't know. I mean, day, I've Maurice. seen most of the TV series, like the first one, and it, it doesn't seem... I, I'm more into Game of Thrones, basically. I've seen a little bit of Game of Thrones and The Walking Dead. I prefer Game of Thrones of the two. Um, not sure why. Um, but The Walking Dead is actually a very unique one, because one thing you'll notice about Telltale's games is that they stay very true to the source material for a lot of them, which is a good thing. That's a great thing. I love that. But do you um, know where the world of curiosity with The Walking Dead, is? they really took a risk uh, and made a story outside the comic book, outside the TV, and made their own kind of spin on it. Around here, and they kind of did that for Game of Thrones as uh, well. But a lot of the characters in Game of for? Thrones were from the TV series. It's just a simple business deal. A few papers to I just picked the wrong thing. Easy. Um. <gasps> Those the papers. Although I say that of a sort, uh, but Jesus was You're in The dead. Walking Dead in season you three of it. Suckers ruin this town, you but know that. mostly, The Walking Alice Dead is an OC kind of character kind of thing. When Jack came in, he turned everything to smoke. Like, listen. What I mean is, they have a lot of OC characters of and uh, its own it. storyline okay. with that, them, and we're gone. Gone, huh? Hey, little man. What's in the case? I mean, you can definitely get a... Hey, what what I mean is, like, the source material. You can get a, a, a real Borderlands vibe from this. And I think there's even a few characters from the Borderlands series in this. There's a couple okay, of uh, yeah, familiar names, look, I believe. Before we get Even from the first game, I think. Bent, uh, oh. But like I said, like I didn't really know what I was getting into because I've never played Borderlands before, oh. so... Bandits. Yeah, that wasn't oh obvious here. before you started talking Reese, to him. Do we got a couple Hyperion warmongers, gentlemen. The bot, the vet, primate. <sighs> Already, really? What you Jesus. expected anything <laughs> a, a different? Okay, but don't go bananas. These things ain't cheap. And do you know what we do with warmongers? Do you know what we do? Should we tell them what we do with Hyperion? Motor bot deployed. Time to clock in. <laughs> Time to have <have's> fun. <laughs> Listen, boys. You're gonna hand over that case. Or you're handing over your heads. Your choice. Look, guys. Let's talk about this. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. see you, nerd. Got quiet all of a sudden. Oh, the bot with the save. Oh, the bot. Hi. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> yeah. Wow, no fear at all. Why isn't it doing anything? Angry eyes detected. Awaiting instruction. It only does what I tell it to. Oh, tell it to do something already. <laughs> Please stop shooting me. Engage <laughs> target. See? Piece of cake. Fire. Get it up. <laughs> I said get it up. Literally lighting him up. 